Hi everybody, Lola here, and this is my book haul for the month of September. I have been obsessed with books this month, not only reading them but buying them as well, so there's quite a few. I mean, not as many as some booktubers put up, but I think this might be my biggest book haul so far, apart from when I bought all the Sword of Truth books, but I had to buy them together, it's obvious really. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. Um, now the first two I've already read, so let's get straight into it. I have read my first manga, I've never read a manga before and I really enjoyed it, and that is Death Note, and obviously, you know, look at all the art in there, it's actually really nice. It starts off with colour, because it's in the demon world, and then the rest of the book's in black and white, because it's in the human world, or well, most part of it is. That wasn't a good example, but oh well. Um, but yeah, I really did enjoy it, and I do want to read the other Death Notes, uh, Death Note books. And I got to the end, I didn't even realise I was at the end of Volume 2. Because um, this book's got Volume 1 and 2 in it, as you can see there. Um, but I did really, really enjoy this book, and I will be reading more manga, and graphic novels and comics from now on, because I have read a couple of graphic novels and other books in the past. So, yeah. Um, the next one, which I've also read, is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Oh yeah, by the way, Death Note was by Takashi Obeta. I don't know if I said that right, I'm really sorry. And, oh, that's who, what the, who the art was by. And that's the name of the person who wrote it. So there you go. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce those names. But yes, The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. And I did really, really enjoy this. Because, um, I mean, first, first off, look at the pages. Yeah, they have like barcode all the way through it because the main character, or oh, well, everybody has a barcode across their forehead, and they have to like scan it every time they go somewhere or want to buy something because all their credit is put onto like an orb on their arm and they scan the credit on the head, and that's how they find out. And they have to work and they have to get do something really difficult to get a job. And it's basically a world that you you have to be really strong to survive in. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. The rest of the books I'm about to haul, I have not read yet. So <laughs> it's going to be fun. Now, I'll show you three together. Because I did buy Divergent at some point. I can't remember if it was last month or this month. But I've read Divergent and I really enjoyed that. I have watched Divergent and Insurgents. And I'm waiting for Allegiant to come out. Um, but yeah, I have bought Insurgent. I have bought Allegiant. And I have bought Four. And I do really look forward to reading them. Because I know that Four is a book in Four's perspective. And loads of stories in its perspective. So I do really look forward to reading that one. But I look forward to reading the others as well. My sister decided to buy me Scorch Trials and the Death Cure, so I look forward to reading them as well. Really can't wait, because I love these books. Well, I love The Maze Runner. The Maze Runner book was really good. And I've heard a lot of people saying that they enjoy the movie more, but I don't get that, because I actually enjoy the books more, as always. That's a very rare thing for people to say, especially my sister, because she said she liked the movie more as well, which... I don't know. I like the books. But yeah, those are them. And the next book, oh, and they're all by James Dashner for the Mage Runner and Veronica Roth for the um, Insurgent books. Um, yeah, the next book uh, I bought was Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rask? Rash? Something like that. Anyway, and I like the sound of this book because I know that they go into like a different place and something about Scotland and somebody having to save a world that they've not known before and that sounds like the kind of book I'd like so plus it's set in Scotland you know that's just north of where I you know not just north but very north of where I live I'm in the UK so yeah I look forward to reading that I've never actually been to Scotland I would like to um the next one it's very well I assume it's a very kiddie book but I don't care still quite big, even though it's got big words in it. And that is The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. 
I don't know if I said that right. I'm British, so I don't know if it's an accent or. Anyway, I have lost. Um, I've heard this might be be made into a movie, but I've not read it yet, and I look forward to reading it. I do like my fairy tales, and this is about the villains, so that should be really interesting because I'm very into villains. I like I do like villains, and I do like to see stories about them rather than the good character. So I do look forward to seeing that one. Now. The next two, everybody on Booktube seems to like, so I thought I'd buy them and give them a go. And the first one is The Queen of the Teeling by Erica jo Johansson, yeah? And everybody has said loads of good things about this, so like it says on the back if you like Game of Thrones or Hunger Games, then you'll like this. I mean, I suppose it's good advertising to say stuff like that, but I don't like people comparing books all the time and saying this is like that, so I read it. But I just like books for what they are, not what they're compared to. But yeah, I do look forward to reading this because it's fantasy and I like fantasy and I need to get back into fantasy again instead of dystopian all the time. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if this is dystopian or not, but I've heard it's very fantastical. So yeah, I'm going to recreate the ceiling. And the other one is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Aveyard? I don't know if I've said that right either. I'm sorry, author's names, honestly, I just can't say them. But yeah, I bought The Red Queen too this month. And this is another fantasy book, apparently about red bloods versus silver bloods and the elite versus the common. And somebody who's a common has been born and she's apparently meant to be elite. I don't know, but yeah, Red Queen. Better read that too. The final book I bought this month was... Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling and I have read all the Harry Potter books and I want to reread them but I don't have them myself I use my mum's versions so I'm buying my own yay but yeah that's Prisoner of the Azkaban by J.K. Rowling and I will read that after I've read the Chamber of Secrets at some point again <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for watching my big book haul and I will see you in my next video Hope you all have a nice time no matter where you are or what time zone you're in. Bye bye and thank you for watching. Bye.